All right, another 10 minutes with, and this time we're with the newly crowned Europe's strongest man, Pavlo Kordiaka, handsome Pavlo. Congratulations, Pavlo. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Cheers. My trophy. Yeah, so good, hey? So good. Yeah. Uh, going nice. into that show, did you figure that you had oh. a pretty good, did you think you had a pretty good chance to win going into it? Yeah, I was consistent in myself because I worked so hard and we made strategy how to win. And uh, uh, only one week event, one week point was deadlift. Yeah, yeah. Now, the most interesting thing to a lot of people will be that those events are basically the same as the World's Strongest Men heat events. So you must yeah. feel pretty confident going to World's Strongest Men to make it through the heats. Yeah, it is. Yeah, this win, this this win on this competition, um, make me um, more confident in myself because, uh, as you said, uh, the same events will be in hit. So yeah, and uh, how we can see, I was good. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I I messaged Pavlo after he won, and I just said, stay out of my group. And I think virtually every one of the the top seeds would say the same thing because that lines up really well for you. And really, you're maybe amongst the best in the world. You're not the best deadlifter, but you're still a very good deadlifter when it comes to a heat of six guys. You probably still would come second or third in that. Yeah, on that lift, uh, uh, I can lift more, but uh, we make decision do three reps and uh, save some energy uh, before oh. one wheel because it, it takes a lot of power and it, it, it needs a lot of capacity. Yeah, because last year you and I were deadlifting together in Scotland and yeah. I had done seven and you had done five and that was on the axle yeah. and that was 350 as well, I believe. And I, I was wondering what had happened. So that was actually a choice, just three and that's it. Yeah, it was a choice. And uh, I had back injury since January. Uh, I did only three uh, full deadlift session. Okay. And uh, I was a little bit scared on my back. And uh, for me, my event is Worlds. So uh, it, it, it makes sense to save my health my back with four goals, but uh, three reps, it was the choice. Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. Because, because, because the, the bar fell pretty easy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, awesome. That's actually really interesting because I was, I was wondering what happened there. Now, you are now going to be one of the people who people, one of the athletes who people will think will get into the finals because of how good the heat events are. How good are the final events for you? Uh, they're pretty good for me as well because uh, I have good dumbbell. Mm -hmm. uh, also fingers. Mm -hmm. In Ukraine, I also want fingers. Uh, and it not depends on uh, to compete or not. <laughs> I have good good fingers and uh, I have good triple In Ukraine, uh, when I beat Alexi at Ukrainian Strongest Man 2020, I beat Alexi at, at track pool and I won I, two plus two plus Alexi. Yeah, right. Oh wow. it, it was it, it was a huge truck. Uh, I guess it was fifteen tons. Yeah. Yeah, right. So you must be pretty you must be very, very excited then. Uh you know, uh I don't think about competition uh, and about events. I just uh, stay focused on this few trainings, what, what I will done, and going to uh, with clear head and focus on my results. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Well, let's talk about your training up to it because you train you train very differently to a lot of people. Uh, a lot of what you post is Olympic lifting and athletic movements. Uh, is that yeah. something that? I mean, how much of that is a conscious decision and how much of that is, uh, that's what you like to do? Uh, as you can see, it gives me like, uh, I'm a universal athlete 
I can do wiper press. I can do push press. I can jerk. Mm -hmm. I can run, jump, uh, lift big weights. Yeah. And uh, I have a good stamina also. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a result uh, from what we do in the, in the gym. My coach saying it's a key. Is your coach an Olympic lifting coach? Uh, no, no, he's engineer. He's he's an engineer. Yeah. <laughs> so he, right. He looks to me like he looks to me like uh, it's a machine. So body is a machine and brain is a computer. Right. <laughs> is that what he says? Yeah. And uh, that was what uh, Bill Kazmaier says. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What, what's your coach's name? Just throw it out there. Stanislav. Stanislav. Cool. Yeah. I I, I, I mentioned him in my, on my Instagram, so you can check. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's fascinating. I love these guys who are completely outside the world of strength sports who just love it. I mean, the Stoltman's coach, Dan, Dan Hipkiss is much the same where he's not a, a huge strong man himself, uh, but obviously still coaching one of the best in the world like yourself. Um, cool. Now let's ask about world's strongest man. So obviously the heats are really good. I know you said you don't like to look at events and whatnot, but if you were to guess what place you would finish at world's strongest man this year, if you went out and, and you did, just what you could. Nothing crazy, nothing horrible. Where do you think you finish? <clears throat> okay, so uh, the plan is take first place because you know uh, Stanov takes more, more too much power. And uh, if uh, in case when I will go to Stanov and I will win Stanov, <laughs> I will be not so fresh. Yeah. So you need you need um, too much time to recovery. And, uh, and that lift will be fine also. Yeah. Yeah. So your, your back probably would that. Yeah. So the plan is to take first place in group. And I guess it's it's possible. And just I need to um, save some points on that lift, like yeah. in Europe's. And if you, if and, you yeah. think you could do, where do you where do you finish in the finals? I just will try to do my best. Uh, I don't like talk about I win competition, I will win podium. Of course, I want to be in podium, yeah. but it, it depends. It's competition. Everything can happen. Of course, of course. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like that attitude. Um, yeah, I just Alexi. Uh, it's good in stones, but it's competition and shit happen. It it, it happened with Lexi last year in stones and this year in stones also. Yeah. Yeah. How do you view Alexi as competition? Because, and Pavlo's sort of the same. Why Pavlo? Because if I'm thinking about what you guys have gone through over the past little bit, I would start to think that as much as strongman is an individual sport, there'd be a lot of pride in Ukraine coming one and two. Do you do you cheer for the Ukrainians more than you would have if not for the war? I always cheer for my demands from Ukraine. It was always because um, the war started not in 2022. The war was started in uh, 2014. So it was right. later than I started strongman. Right. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, and uh, I like my country. I like my nation. I always cheer Ukrainians. Uh, when yeah. we compete together, of course, I want to win event, win competition. But when I finish my, this this event or competition, I always cheering for Ukrainians. Yeah, I guess or it's I for guess my friends. <laughs> Yeah, of course. I guess it's a, a bit of a bad question because, of course, you would cheer for Ukrainians. But it's funny you say the war started in 2014. As someone who yeah. I, I do not follow <laughs> the wars in Eastern Europe, and what do you mean the war started in 2014? Because I only heard of it in the last couple of years. Uh, Russia occupied Crimea. Right. And, uh, 
yeah, and started the war in Donbass. And that's been ongoing ever since. Yeah, it it, it was it was uh, a time where when Russia started the war with, with us. Right. Okay. Wow. So in terms of how you think about other Ukrainian athletes, that hasn't changed much in the past couple of years. You've always seen them as your brothers in competition, so to speak. Sorry. How you see Ukrainian athletes, that hasn't changed in the last couple of years. You see them as always teammates. You know, uh, the city where I live, uh, most of us seem like we are all brothers because uh, we have something like uh, various unities. It means a unified power. Right. Unify is a power. Yeah, so we must be unified. Yeah, cool, cool. I think a lot of people could take a page from that book. Um, all right, Pablo, there's one question. I hope it's not lost in translation. One question that I ask everyone is, yeah. outside of strongmen, more more generally speaking, what does it mean to you to be strong? For now, uh, it's uh, my friends who is now in battlefields, in the battlefields. It takes me a lot of motivation, power, and uh, when I'm training so hard, feeling anxiety, uh, I think about that because it takes me more power to work, to continue struggling, battling. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, it, I think it, 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 it means a lot to me. Yeah, yeah, of course. Well, I think that's a pretty good note to end it on. Mate, I think you are... You're, you're creeping yourself up as one of the people that one of the many people that I hope isn't in my group. <laughs> and I hope, um, I hope, I I hope we will be in different group. <laughs> Maybe we can. I, 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 I want to, ch to, to challenge you in final, but not in group. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe we can speak to world's strongest man and say, Pablo and I, not the same group. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, mate, I train, glad. Yeah. Uh, train safe. Travel safe over, um, and uh, we look forward to seeing you in Myrtle Beach in full form, 100%, and uh, see if you can build some momentum off that uh, Europe's Strongest Man win. Uh, sorry, just... You yeah, mate? I'm just saying goodbye. I'm just saying goodbye. Uh, Thank okay. you very much I, for coming I, on. I, I, want, I want to say one thing for you. It's, uh, to be honest, I think you are contender number one for the world's title this year. Oh, wow. Pablo, don't try to get into my head. <laughs> no, no. Uh, just really, really, really honest. You are so strong and you're doing very well. So keep going. I appreciate you. Like you said, anything can happen when it comes to competition. Um, and I look at it very much like there's not many years that you have a chance. So hopefully we can, I can make the most of it this year. Um, but really, let's hope everyone comes out healthy, has a good competition. And um Growing the sport is good for us all. So let's put on a good show. Let's get there healthy. And um, yeah, we'll catch you in Myrtle Beach. Yeah, see ya. Thanks, Pablo.